job to the job, but you know, overall, if you have a rotten day, you can just look out there and, and they can just make you happy. Sometimes when we have our late event and the animals are out later than they're normally supposed to be, the birds start getting mad because it's like, you guys are supposed to be gone now, this is our time. And you can actually see the birds would like chase our old colvis out of the tree. It's like, okay, you're supposed to be in. This is our time out here. Get lost, buddy. doing maternal training with her to make sure that she would be able to raise her own baby because she had been a hand reared individual and uh, I wanted to make sure she knew what nursing was about so one of her behaviors was to present her chest to the cage front so I could pull on her breasts so that she knew how rough and tough nursing could be and wouldn't be scared by it. That's what made the difference between her taking care of Kula and not. It certainly helped. I don't know. She was always very kid-oriented anyway. She liked babies. Physically, no. We do training like through the cage front and stuff where you might like with the spider monkeys, you can have them present tail and stuff like that, but we don't go in the cages with them. We go in the cages with the small monkeys because we clean in there, but it's not like you're really petting them and holding them or anything. The only case we do interact with is like if it was a hand rearing situation where we had a baby that we were taking care of and had to bottle feed it. In the morning and stuff with the gorillas, we do hand feed them some food, but it's always through the cage front or give them some juice where you put the cup up to the cage front and put juice in their mouth. But all that is kind of through the cage front. So we don't go into the cages with the larger primates. fed inside in their holding areas. Everybody goes into a separate holding area and that way with the mixed exhibits, especially like in Africa and uh, South America, you can have uh, each of the animals get proper diets. We do put some food out on the exhibit in the morning so that way they kind of forage for different things. It keeps them active and busy, give them some kind of a treat. I'm working in Africa holding today. I gave them Cheerios out there to run around and eat and then their main meal is inside and that's also sort of like something to get them to shift in that's their motivation at the end of the day it's like it's the end of the day i'm hungry i know dinner's waiting inside for me i'm going to go in this store and get it well i love my job because i love the animals and working with the animals it never is monotonous like i said so many things can happen, good and bad, and so the days are always different and different things happen that keep it exciting. You develop relationships with these animals that you really enjoy, and just watching them, if you, you know, I hope everybody here is enjoying just watching them and watching their different behaviors, watching, looking for the human aspects in their behaviors, like how they're behaving that is similar to how you might behave or how your kids behave at home. It's just fun. Thank you.